Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. Today I'm on the West Bank with a good friend of mine, Alex. We're out here behind this pumping station looking for carp and catfish. But look at this. Look how high up above the water we are. That's why we got this drop net right here. There's a lot of carp in here. We've already seen quite a few. Now, I don't know what kind of catfish are here, but we will by the end of this video. First things first, I'm gonna make some ground bait. This is gonna be cheap white bread. Probably gonna use this whole loaf. And there we go, that whole loaf is in there. Now we're gonna add a can of cream style corn. I got a whole bunch of cream style corn out of the garbage that someone was throwing away because they're like seven to eight years out of date. I'm gonna add this corn in slowly. Put about half the can in there and then start mixing it up. I don't want it too sloppy. I want it, you know, I don't want it too thin. I want a nice thick dough. Ground bait is done. Strawberry corn is the actual hook bait. So the rig is just a regular slip rig, Carolina rig, if you will. We're using an ounce of lead right now. 30 pound is the leader and 30 pound is the main line. The hook is a small coarse fishing hook or an octopus style hook, if you like. I don't know the actual size of that because the hooks that I was sent don't have sizes on them, but I would say that is smaller than a size one. I'm gonna load this up with corn. Get as many kernels on there as I can. So I'm gonna wrap this ground bait around the lead. That's why I wanted it to be a pretty doughy consistency so I could do this. And I will throw bits out in the areas where my baits will be. But for the moment, I'm gonna chum the water by doing this. Both my rigs are the same. Both, both of them are gonna have the same baits and the same style of, of feeding. So I'm just gonna show you this one. When I set up like this with my ground bait wrapped around my lead, I usually like to lob it out. I have a bit of line off the tip of the rod and I'll swing it back and forth and lob it out like that. First bait I wanted over there close to the uh, pumping station itself. Hopefully it's not snaggy. All right, let's get this second one out, right out in front of me, right there. Because we're only using ounce sinkers right now, can't get a really tight line. It's gonna be a slack line. I'm gonna drag it on the bottom just a little bit to get that ground bait to break up and have a little patch of feed. So I'm gonna put out two catfish rods. One is gonna be a night crawler on a drop shot. Finally got to the second catfish rod. We're gonna use a one ounce no roll there's the bumper, not bumper, it's like a bead. Five aught hook, small piece of cut bait. Is that a bass? Yeah. It's a dinko on the senko. Yeah, you're right. First fish in the video. It just had a hit on this one right here. Getting hit repeatedly, but I can't keep a tight line with one ounce because of this wind. So we're going to change the lead real quick. Two ounces is the heaviest that I brought. I think this will work a lot better. Boom. Want to like jerk it just a little bit to try and get some of that ground bait to come off the lead. Let's drop a red wiggler down here along this bulkhead to see what the cichlids or panfish look like if they're hanging out down there. Well, there was a bite. I think we have a carp around this bait right here. Ooh, here we go. What do we got? Little bluegill. Oh. Hey, what are you doing? Hello. This dog has been hanging around for a while, apparently is what I've heard. I was hoping to see this dog. I brought something for him. I think he belongs to someone is what I've heard. Here it is. He's a little shy. I was here a few days ago scouting this spot and I saw him or her just wandering all over the place. Look, there's a bowl right here too. 
You want that? I don't know if he belongs or she belongs to someone. Thought maybe he was hungry. He's kind of skinny. Hmm. <laughs> he spilled the food. You're funny. Got him. I'm gonna need the net, I think. Nice one. Go ahead and drop that down. I think this is where we're going to land them. Since this is a small hook, I'm not horsing this fish. I want to actually land them. Don't want to lose them. But I got to work them around all these lines. Let me, oh, no, he's coming back this way. Oh, that is a nice one. He is not ready, Alex. Mm -hmm. ah. Head first. Drop the net more. Flip, I'm losing sight of him. Let me know what you want me to do. You gotta get his head, you gotta get the line in between these, you know, where they spread out here. Right there. You got him. Maybe a 10 pounder. Yeah, you're right. Right in the corner of the mouth. Just, just barely over 10 pounds. Just barely a 10 pounder. Yeah, you're right. This is the first carp of the year, actually. A nice 10 pounder, a double digit. Wow, I'm happy. Yeah, you're right. Let's let him go. Let's get him back in the water. To release this fish, I'm just going to drop him down with the net. I do not want to just drop him in the water because it'll spook the water and it is not illegal in Louisiana to do catch and release on common carp. It's, if you thought so, it was Asian carp you were thinking of. These have been here for well over a hundred years. There he goes. So oh, no. 
Oh, I got it. Carp around both. Ooh. Got him. He came off. I had my drag too tight. I finally got one on the other carp rod. Ah! Let's try this again. I'm not losing this one. This spot has turned out to be really productive for carp, but our catfish baits, nothing. Totally ignored. He doesn't feel real heavy yet. I've got my drag real loose so he can run. Ooh. He's getting some get some exercise in here. So many carp up here behind this pumping station. It just makes me really happy. Whoa. I'm beginning to wonder, is this better than a 10 pounder? He doesn't feel real heavy, but then, then he does. He's moving some water. Oh, did you see him? He's not real big, but he's got some power. It's a nice looking common too. does not want to give up hopefully he's hooked good Can't see what's going on. You got him? Yeah. Oh. Maybe a 10 pounder. Oh, nice. More than 10 pounds, 11.38. Probably say 11 pounds because of the net, but yeah, 11 pound, 0.38. Cool. Here you go. Another nice looking common out of here so many of them too i wonder if this is like the average size 10 pounds or a little more a little over yeah you're right yeah you're right like before i don't want to just drop this fish down there i don't want to spook the water i'm just going to gently lower him there he goes 
All right, guys, we gave it as long as we could. Let's see if Alex can get a, a carp here. We're gonna actually go to a different spot that might be more productive for cats. And there's carp there as well, but that's gonna be another video. So we're gonna wrap it up here. This was a really fun spot for me. First two carp of the year here. I'm pretty happy about that. Let's see how good the next next one is, the next spot. So thanks for watching and subscribing. And oh, by the way, I think this German Shepherd actually lives here. He's hanging out. He started to eat a little bit of that food. Maybe once we leave, he'll eat more. He's kind of shy. See you next time. Look at that. Yeah, you're right. Really pretty. Look at this anal fin. Looks like a greenie. That palmetto is still eating at my french fry there that he stole. Is that the carp line? No, this is, oh, yeah, something's on there. Oh, you got him. Let's see if I can get him up. It's a little gar. Whoa, there we go. Yeah. Spotted gar. Yeah. See you next time.